What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's Glory Me! How are you doing, guys? It's another day of Fortnite, and we are grinding this game into the ground. I have been absolutely loving this game to death. It's beautiful, wonderful, charismatic, spectacular, awe-inspiring. This is... This game is sweeping the globe, and it is not stopping anytime soon. If you're not already playing, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? It's free. They want you to play it. They want you to enjoy it. You deserve to play. Get on there. You don't even need a PlayStation Plus membership. You just gotta have a got internet connection. You can do it. I believe in you. Join me in the battle royale. That being said, guys. It's an exciting update to look forward to coming out in the future. We have the jetpack to look forward to. Now, I've heard a lot of people say, Oh, but the jetpack, it, it's going to ruin the balance of building. You'll be able to boost into my tower. So, what? It is no different than the launch pad. You can easily just launch and glide gracefully into the top of someone's tower and I wipe got, the whole team. Yeah, I, got I don't got see much of a difference of being able to do that with a jetpack. I'm excited to know, you know, how they're going to implement it into the game. Will it be a one-time consumable where if you, like, once it runs out of fuel, it just kind of falls off your character and it's gone? Will it be something that permanently affixes itself to you and you'll have to collect uh, fuel throughout the map in order to keep powering it? Uh, and how how will they affix the back the uh, jetpack to your character? Um, since they've already implemented the backpack cosmetic item, I'm wondering how the jetpack will like fix to your character when uh, compared to when you have the backpack on and when you don't have the backpack on. Something I'm really interested in too is um well not so much interested in just what I think would be cool a cool feature is instead of it actually being a a backpack, so to speak, or um, sorry, uh, jetpack. Like literally, it jets on your your back. Jetpack, jet backpack. It could be a pair of rocket boots. And that's just my personal opinion. I think the rocket boots would kind of play more on the cartoonish feel that the game already has. But it's probably a little bit late to you know be saying these things to to advise the developers into what maybe uh, like I think is cool. Who am I after all? I'm just a I'm just a YouTuber with 30 subscribers. No one's listening to me after all. We also have the uh, 20 v 20. Sorry, the 20 v 20 v 20 v 20 v 20. Five teams of four game mode coming soon, which I think is going to be really cool. I really enjoyed 50 v 50. That's um, something that I've personally always wanted in a video game was kind of a team deathmatch, only one life, and I'm so happy to finally get to play that game mode it's something i've always wanted i can remember back in the days of modern warfare where we would play uh, search and destroy where you, you only had one life and that was so much fun because it was so important to be you know skilled in what you're doing and you know it skill mattered it wasn't just about spray and pray although that did play a big part into winning it was call of duty after all you know, the, uh, the game mode itself, I believe, is going to be subject to a little bit of criticism, considering that, you know, the balance may not be as good as we would hope it to be. You know, not everybody has a great connection. People do live lives outside of the video game. So, you know, there is going to be, you know, disconnects and dropouts, which will affect the overall balance of your team. So, you know, you could go in hot with all 20 players, and before everybody's even landed, you're down to, like, 10 which yeah, I feel like might kind of rub people the wrong way when that does happen, but these game modes are a limited time. It's not permanent, so I don't think people really need to uh, fret so much over that. That being said, if you have been enjoying my videos so far and you, you like my content, you like watching me play or listening to me commentate, talk, whatever, drop a like. Uh, leave a comment below, tell me what you like that I'm doing, what you'd like to see me do in the future. And if you like it so much that you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that. I appreciate every subscriber out there, and I read all your comments. Don't worry, it's super easy. There's only a few. 
right. With that in mind, let me know if you like the way I'm editing the videos. I tend to leave out a lot of the gameplay. Uh, no, firstly, from, from like bad. my point of view, it's not so interesting to watch farming and running and healing and reviving. It's very monotonous. You can literally do that in your own game and watch yourself play. I don't think you came here to watch me drink health potions and cut down trees. If, though, you you guys want to see that stuff, you'd like to see the entirety of the game, the then uh, let me know and I'll start to kind of um, edit it, things differently right so you can or see more of what goes on. Uh, I also t leave out the banter, the overall, like, you know, talking and conversating in the game. I think it's just mindless chatter that you, like, who really wants to listen to that? But again, like I said, if it is something you'd like to see me include in my videos, then I will include all of it. We'll just do a short introductory commentary and... On our right, Goose, on our right. We'll, you can listen to me have mindless conversations with strangers on the internet. But that's it for now. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for stopping by. You've been playing with Glory Me. Enjoy the rest of your evening, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Circle's right behind us. Alright, there's a guy, there's a guy, he's... Alright, I got him, I got him. You good? Let's go! Nice.